What's up guys, Daniel Storm here. Welcome back to another construction update from Universal Studios Hollywood. I know I just recently posted another video on that in the channel. So, Santa Clarita Joan actually went to Universal Studios Hollywood today and there's some big updates around there right now. So thanks for Santa Clar Clarita Joan. I'm gonna put the link in the description below so you wanna check out the full video without the shaky version including that I'm recording this like this on the Switch. And please subscribe to the channel if you do so. Please put the notification bell when a new video will be popping out as soon as this one. But now further ado, let's get on with the video. Sorry about that noise, I had to cut ahead. It was a weird motorcycle. Anyways, uh, as you can see, we're here over by uh, Revenge of the Mummy because that's where they start uh, start the video. And as you can see, we have construction work on the the Halloween Hornets maze, uh, rumored to be Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Well, I don't know if, if this is or not because there's just rumors. Because by now, Universal and it. Halloween Hornet should be announced every uh, maze is by now, but I know due with the with the COVID-19 pandemic at the moment, so nothing has been announced. Hopefully, I think they're gonna be announcing every houses like in August, like next month, because I don't know if Halloween Hornet is gonna be happening this year or not. Uh, well, hopefully it will happen. <laughs> well, hopefully they do social distancing on the on the mazes and just so they add like a few scare actors because I know it's not too safe to do Halloween Hornets now. By now we should be back to normal, but the people aren't, are being not following the rules, and I'm actually upset at those people who are not. The people who are following the rules, good job, good job. If, if you want your, your theme parks back and everything back, just follow the directions. But, yeah, and including there's a big update over at Jurassic World at the end of the video, they're actually testing the ride and including the animatronics of the ride. Sadly, we cannot see if the Indominus Rex is inside of the ride. Hopefully, if it, if it is, I know everyone is going to get mad if they didn't add it, the Indominus Rex. People keep wanting the full body Indominus Rex and the Indominus, uh, Indominus Rex working correctly. But we we will get back over to Jurassic World and Super Nintendo World, but we're gonna head over to the back lot. As you can see uh, over here at the back lot, we have two Mesa Spin construction for Halloween Horror Nights. And including one is where last year used to be Creep Show. I don't know what this maze is. Actually in a new location, of course. And including over here, over by Waterworld, there's construction going on over here. I thought this got to be Texas Chainsaw. Well, I don't know if it is or not. It's just rumors. Rumors, okay? I'm, I'm still thinking if it's Texas Chainsaw or not. Or not. And yes, we have overfly viewing over here by the Universal Plaza. Everything uh, is empty. I know that nothing. And including there's some uh, something working over at the at Super Silly Funland. So hopefully we're gonna show the video. Yeah, here it is. Here's Super Silly Funland here uh, being actually dismantled right now. There's actually let me actually pause this video right now. Uh, as you can see, Super Silly Funland is getting uh, taken apart. Well. Kind of looks like it's not getting taken apart. I think they're changing the the ride vehicles because there's one of the ride vehicles right there in the middle of nowhere. So yes, uh, all of this are doing right now. They're doing like a refurbishment right now on S Silly Swirl right now. So I don't know if Silly Swirl will be open uh, back when the park reopens because I know they need social distancing. I think they will because. Over at Universal Studios Florida, over at Orlando, they have a, like a similar ride, like a spinning ride. It's actually called Kane Kronos Tour World. Well, I cannot say the full name correctly, but that ride, they're having social distancing. It's just that if they're in a family of two, uh, they can actually ride it. If they're actually riding with someone else, they have to be doing social distancing, like put them one person in one vehicle. It seems fair, it seems. And I thought they were doing like a refurbishment, changing the paint of Super Silly Fun, and maybe something from Minions Rise of Gru or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, I want to do a see that movie so badly because I do love the Minions and everything. I know a few people don't like Minions, and I, uh, the people will say, "Dang you, why you like the Minions?" Well, I like the story, uh, the storyline of all of the Despicable Me movies, and including the the Minions movie and all of the Illumination movies, by the way, <laughs> because they're my favorite. Because they're the only cartoon uh, movies you actually will see from Universal for now, but at least we're gonna uh, we have DreamWorks now. 
but I do like DreamWorks and everything from Universal, so let's actually move on over to Secret Life of Pets, but I'm going to show you a footage from the ride, so let me put the footage right now. Your favorite characters from The Secret Life of Pets are coming to life and off the leash at Universal Studios Hollywood. Look at all the puppies! Join Max, Duke, Gidget, and Snowball on a journey through the streets of New York City. Come unleash your inner pet. Opening soon at Universal Studios Hollywood. Well, it looks like that's your cue to leave. Yep, you guys, that was actually the footage for The Secret Life of Pets Off the Leash. Uh, that's actually a TV commercial for the ride. I know the ride should be open by now, but I know uh, the, uh, the ride was supposed to be open during this quarantine, but sadly it never happened. Why coronavirus? Just why? Just comment down below of you how you feel about when the coronavirus will be ending and according to uh, you hate a lot. So just uh, talk in the comments. Um, I'm actually really impressed on Secret Life of Pets Off the Leash, the, the ride, because it's quite interesting, you guys, because how different the, how it's gonna be, well, it is, uh, it is a, uh, all new ride, I'm trying to say, <laughs> sorry, uh, it's kind of like a Disneyland ride, of course, everyone, uh, knows that it's actually gonna be, like, a dark ride, it is a dark ride, not too thrilling like Despicable Me or Jurassic World or something. It's not that uh, like scary or thrilling, those kind of rides. It's just, a, it's gotta be, it's just a family ride. You wanna take a break from riding on on the uh, motion simulation or thrilling rides. So you can just go ride on Secret Life of Pets. And I'm glad it's actually right next to Despicable Me because we have Super Silly Fun Land, so you can just relax in the in the silly swirl ride you can just relax up there uh for not being any thrilling rides but <clears throat> i'm sorry you guys um yeah and it couldn't by the way secret life of pets it's the same from the facade and everything it's just the ride has already been done and over with it's just so it's just only as uh, we're waiting is for to the park uh, reopen but i'm not gonna be back at the park when it actually reopens on the first day because i'm just being safe uh, trying to get safe right now because i know like this weekend has been bad over at florida and everywhere and the united states uh, do with the coronavirus because i know where i live california houston texas and florida are not doing too good with the coronavirus there's a bunch of victims uh, because they haven't been following the rules <sighs> people just follow the rules okay you want to be safe and including everyone here where i live uh they're actually doing the right thing they're actually are staying safe being home just so they please people stay safe and wear a mask if you're trying to go outside i want everything to be back to normal i want everything to be back i want my theme parks back <laughs> well let's actually um uh, head over to Jurassic World and Super Nintendo World, and actually, uh, not a whole lot at the Walking Dead attraction, by the way. But one of the body bags are still there from the queue line at the end of the queue. But we're not gonna get too much on it. But let's actually head over to Jurassic World right now. Okay, we have Jurassic World right here. They're actually testing the animatronics, as you can see, and the video is actually speeding up. Uh, yes, yeah, here's uh, the baby Stegosaurus. The mama Steg uh, Stegosaurus is right there, but you cannot see it almost. But, like, in this turn, uh, it's actually going to be moving, and the water is actually going on really good right now in, in the video. If you want to see the full video, I I just told you, uh, I'll leave the, the description in the in the video if you want to go check out the full video of this. And, yes, I think the Mama Stegosaurus is working, okay? It's just, uh, you can almost see it from here because there's a bunch of trees. And, according to uh, this uh, dinosaur, is working. Yep, you can see it. Everything is working. I'm actually, I'll be filming on the ride when everything is actually back to normal. I'll be back at Universal. And I told you in the 100 subscribers video, I'll be back in 2021. Because the passes will be actually extended for next year. And it couldn't even for everything parks, of course. And we have the Gyrosphere by Jurassic World over here. Uh, nothing too interesting. Well, it is something interesting, but not too much movement because, of course, all this area has been all destroyed by the Indominus Rex. And according to testing the water dummies, by the way, in the ride, let me actually pause the video here. Uh, they are testing with water dummies. Uh, 
uh, to get the ride going. I don't know. I think they're doing something testing the water dummies, but I know why because of social uh, social distancing. I think there's going to be just only a family in the ride, and including if you want to be by yourself, I think they'll just put a few people in the boat for social distancing. But this is actually good news that uh, they're running the ride and everything. And I'm really impressed for this, for Universal actually getting ready to open up the park. Well, hopefully they open in late August. That'll be perfect in late August. I will, I'll, I was actually, uh, I thought everything will be back open on late June and July, but sadly it didn't work because coronavirus is still turning bad now because the people are not doing following the rules. That's why we're not getting the theme parks because they're not following the rules. But I know a few YouTubers out there, if you're watching this video and including the people who are actually watching this video are actually doing the right thing uh, to keep safe and everything. But that's all my opinion about the coronavirus. I'm not going to speak it again. So watch, uh, just uh, watch the video back and you want to actually hear my introduction about that. So yeah, watch the video, you guys. Um, anyways, for Jurassic World, um, the Indominus Rex hopefully is in there and it's all ready to go. And we want the final she uh, final show building and everything to be all set that everyone wanted it so badly. So yeah, that's everything. All my thoughts on Jurassic World. We're actually gonna be moving over to Super Nintendo World because there's some big updates going on over there. There's actually more some con uh, more construction over there. So let's actually head there right now. As you can see, um, everything is all said over here. And uh, right here, let me actually pause the video here. Um, right here is something interesting over here. They're actually building the walls and like, some exteriors from Japan. Because uh, Japan is bigger, but it's actually a little bit smaller to fit in. But uh, this is how it is. It's They're trying to make it like similar as the Wizarding World of Harry Potter did over at Universal's. Uh, studios, uh, Hollywood, Japan, over at Florida, said Hogsmeade, and including with Diagon Alley, uh, over at Universal Studios Florida. Um, right here, uh, this has got to be the Mario pipe, by the way, because as you can see, um, this will be make sense to have a Mario pipe here, because I think this has got to be the the entrance to the world, and including uh, entering from here. We thought uh, we're gonna uh, there's gonna be another entrance over here, but nope, there's not. Um, let's actually uh, head a little bit closer a little bit in the video shot so as you can see they're actually moving um, quite fast uh, since the last video that I made they were uh, building just some some metal steel right there and including they're running and they're going vertical again over here in this building over here of course this is actually gonna be like um the, the Mushroom Kingdom Mountains over here, and I know there's not going to be a Yoshi attraction, but uh, it's not going to be fit, uh, fit in that area, and including a Donkey Kong ride or anything. And I think it's just going to be one ride, and maybe a small ride, maybe in that location, maybe a small mini roller coaster like Flight of the Hippogriff, but I don't think it's going to be a roller coaster. It's just some, um, uh, it's just rumors, uh, but I doubt it that there's not going to be like a roller coaster right there. But yeah, everything is going on perfect. In the last video, I I thought that Dino Play was actually uh, getting uh, getting some upgrades with the new area, but no, there's just a, there was just a crane and a bunch of stuff over here. And sadly, oh, this is not gonna be a road anymore because back in the day, there used to be a road over here heading towards where the main show building is. It was part of the studio tour, but sadly, it's been switched over to here. So no more road here. But yeah, everything for Super Nintendo World is going quite great now. Let's actually end the video here with a with a nice shot of this of the building on some vertical uh, metal stealing right here. So yeah, I kind of like how they're actually building right now. Super Nintendo World getting things on track right now. So. Hopefully everything will be all set to go to Universal Studios and we can go. Well, sadly, I'm not going to be like going there when the park reopens for the first time back. It's just I want to be safe and everything. That's why I haven't made any videos on City Walk because I know City Walk has been open all this time. And let's actually pause this because the video has ended for Santa Clarita's. But yeah, if... If you're wondering, no, I'm not actually going to be going to City Walk because I know City Walk did reopen like in 
like in June, somewhere around like late June, but no, I want to be safe. <laughs> I know um, JP Land, Five Fires, and other random YouTubers, like Five Fires, of course, is Mondo, but other YouTubers uh, do actually go check on um, City Walk, and I know It's Sugar actually reopened, by the way, you guys. Uh, uh, sadly, I, I never made a video on the City Walk since one video I made when it its sugar has been constructed and a cleaning over by to some chocolate emporium has uh, actually took down the walls and just already, uh added a palm tree but i think they're just building everything in the interior inside so yeah that's pretty much it for the updates for city walk and that's gonna be it for this video and as uh, you can see thanks so much for watching please leave a like Comments if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. That'll be it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and see you guys later. Bye.